There are multiple different micronutrients, i.e. vitamins and minerals that contribute to testosterone synthesis like vitamins A, C, D, K2, zinc, magnesium, iodine, calcium. But what often is left unmentioned is actually the trace mineral boron. Boron, in fact, actually currently holds the most impressive results on natural tea production. And this is what we're gonna discuss in today's video. All the information in today's video plus much more can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. Many experts believe that we're getting significantly less boron through our diet than our ancestors did because of the power farming, which quickly depletes our soil and therefore our food has less nutrients in it. But is boron something that you'd wanna miss from the diet? Definitely not, according to the research which shows the benefits of boron with testosterone production. Boron is a rare mineral because it's known as a trace leftover of the Big Bang, and that's why they call these things trace minerals. That's why about only 0.001% uh, of the Earth's crust is boron. Not only is boron rare on Earth, it's also somewhat uncommon as a supplemental micronutrient. It's not even included in the list of essential vitamins and minerals for, for uh, human survival, and there isn't even a set daily minimum requirement for boron. However, as unnecessary as boron might seem, what most of the guys don't know is that boron can be easily labeled as a natural testosterone booster, and it's ridiculously cheap and unpopular. So this could be a very good way for you to affordably boost your testosterone production naturally. So the researchers in this study gave about eight of their male subjects 10 milligrams of boron every single morning for seven consecutive days. After the week had passed, the scientists compared the subjects' blood results from day zero to day seven, and they found that free testosterone levels had increased by 28%, free estrogen levels had decreased by 39%, DHT levels rose by 10%, and a lot of inflammation biomarkers also dropped significantly. So one thing to note is that the same researchers actually studied testosterone levels on their subjects in a study conducted in 1997 as well, set to examine boron's effects on cardiovascular risk. And in that trial, 10 milligrams of daily boron also increased total testosterone levels by 15%. And they saw um, in that study a slight increase in estrogen levels too, which should be noted. Another study looked at how boron supplementation impacts serum vitamin D levels, but on the side, they also measured free testosterone levels. After two months of giving their 13 subjects um, six milligrams of daily boron, the levels of free testosterone had increased by 29.5% on average, which was a number that was similar to that first study we talked about. Now, two rodent studies examined boron's toxicity and they also found a significant dose-dependent increase in testosterone levels after the boron supplementation, where the highest dose was actually 500 milligrams a day and led to 160% increase in testosterone. This amount is pretty crazy. Uh, I don't recommend you take that much. So in conclusion, uh, with relationship to uh, boron and testosterone supplementation, there's a good amount of scientific evidence that speaks for the health benefits of boron. It significantly has the ability to increase testosterone levels, both free and total testosterone levels, and uh, decrease estrogen levels as well. That's why I recommend that you take boron in a testosterone boosting supplement. All right, let's look at a few foods that are rich in boron. So su supplementation is obviously an easy way to get uh, between six to 10 milligrams of boron per day very uh, inexpensive, but you can also get it from some specific foods like raisins. The densest known nutritional source of boron is raisins. About 100 grams of them contain a whopping three milligrams of boron, which is 100 milligrams of the recommended daily amount, about half the amount that you would need to really impact your testosterone production. All right, next up on the list, we have avocados. So avocados are pretty awesome for uh, testosterone production for a lot of different reasons. They're really nutrient dense and the fatty acid profile is pretty decent for your tea levels. But when it comes to boron, 100 grams of avocados have about two milligrams of the trace mineral in it, which accounts for about 65% of what you should be looking for on a daily basis, unless you're deficient, then you can go up to that six to 10 milligram level. Another good option for foods with boron is prunes. So similar to raisins, prunes, which are basically just dried plums, are loaded with boron. 100 grams of prunes provides you with about 1.1 milligram of boron. Now you might be seeing a trend here because dried apricots are also a good source of boron. So if you look at these dried fruits, specific ones have a good amount of boron in the skin of the fruit. Apricots is one of them. So 100 grams of dried apricots provides about two milligrams of boron. So if you're interested in learning more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, I recommend checking out my book, Master Your Tea, which you can get for free right now over at masteryourtea.com. Just enter your email and I'll send you a, a digital download link of the whole book, this whole thing. Plus, I'll also send you a $5 off coupon 
for Testro X, which is our natural tea boosting supplement that contains 10 milligrams of boron per serving. And if you like this video, you wanna see more like it, just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.